I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. Here is another very interesting example based on intersection of three planes. So we are considering intersection of three planes whose equation is given here. 2x plus y plus z equals to 4, x minus y plus z equals to k, 4x plus by plus z equals to 2. We have three parts to this question. First one is find the value of b and k for the system to intersect in a line b what happens if the value of b is changed in a c what happens if the value of k is changed in a you can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions now let's look into the concept so part is we need to find the value of b and k for the system to intersect in a line it really means that if you are working with augmented matrix, we are looking for a situation which could be something like this. Right, so, I mean, we can have zero here, some number, but we are looking for a situation more important, zero, zero, zero. And if you get this situation, that means the intersection is a line, right? So this means we are looking for line which means infinite solutions correct which is part a now uh, if we change the value of b which is which is right here which affects this position right then what happens so in part b if we change the value of b then the situation might become something like this Right, so we'll just keep the rest. The, these are any numbers, right? So if I change this, we may not get zero here, right? That's the whole idea. So we have zero something here, uh, zero equals to zero. Now definitely, we have in this particular case, one solution, right? So we have a point as our solution, correct? So that is part B and C is when we change the value of k right then see what happens so we'll have a situation which could be something like this so we change the value of k that means uh, uh, this value is uh, something different right uh, so basically well it will be some other point in that case right and uh, here what we get here is uh, 0, 0, 0 equals to 0, right? So, so that happens. So that may not change anything, right? So in this particular case, still, we may get some other lines, right? We may get some other line. Correct. Now let's try to figure out uh, the solutions. So let's begin with the augmented matrix to solve. So we have 2, 1, 1, 4. This is 1 minus 1, 1, K. And here we have 4, B, 1, and 2. So the idea is to get uh, 0 in these two places. To get 0 here, I will do uh, 2 times R2, take away R1, correct. So then I can get 0 this place. And here I will do R3, take away 2 times R1, correct. So R1 will keep as 2, 1, 1, 4. Now, 2 times R2, take away this, this is 0, minus 2 take away this will be minus 3, and 2 take away 1 will be 1, and 2K take away 4, correct? R3 minus 2 times R1, so when I take away 4, it is 0, 2 times R1, so B minus 2, 
1 minus 2 will be minus 1 and here we get 2 minus 8 which is minus 6 right so that is what we get now the idea is to make uh, b minus 2 as 0 so or what we can do here is we can make this as 0 right so at least we'll get two zeros and then we can equate that to zero correct so so we'll now write our system as two one one four we want to make this one as zero so if i make this as zero what happens i can add r1 to r3 right so we do r1 plus r3 sorry uh, r2 because that is 0 plus 0, right? So we maintain this as 2k minus 4. Here when we add, we get b minus 2 minus 3, which is b minus 5. And when you add these two, you get 0 here. Add these two, we get 2k minus 10. Okay, so that is what it is. Now, in this particular situation, since we got 2k minus 10 here, to get 0, 0, 0, that will give us a line as a solution. What will happen? We have to make b minus 5 as equal to 0. That means b is equal to 5. That is one case, right? And the second thing which we need to do is to write 2k minus 10 equals to 0, so we get 2k equals to 10 or k equals to 5, right? So we get both values of b and k as 5 in this particular case, right? So for a line, we get our solution. Let me rewrite this here that for case A, infinite points. means a line of intersection we get b equals to 5 and we get k equals to 5 right now part b part b of the question was what happens if value b is changed in a right so if b is not equal to 5 so if b is not equal to 5 uh, sorry, it's not equal to 5. In that case, what will happen? Means we are keeping 0 here, right? So in that case, we'll have a situation which is kind of like this. We'll have 2, 1, 1, 4, right? 0, minus 3, 1. So this we have placed as 5. So it'll be 10 minus 4, which is 6. And uh, here we have uh, 0 but some other number not zero right some other number not zero equals to uh, five this is five so 10 minus 10 equals to zero right so definitely we have a point as a solution correct as expected we get a point as a solution so we get one solution is it okay now let's consider part c uh, so let me do it in a different ink and part C is part C is that K is not equal to 5 but B we are maintaining as 5 right so in that case what happens so if K is not 5 then we get 2 1 1 4 right and here we get 0 minus 3 1 some number right and uh, like we got some number last time but in this case, we have 0, 0, 0. But since there is k here and k is not 5, we'll get a number here. Right? So after going through this solution, now I realize that there is no solution. Clear? So this type, we these two lines, they will intersect in a line. Correct? So what we have is a trapezoid. So there will be two lines which will be intersecting in this particular case so so the type of solution is we will have a triangular prism
correct so we will get triangular prism system will be uh, not consistent right so in this case let me correct this since that will not be zero it will be equal to some other point so here we'll get uh, inconsistent system and it will look like a triangular prism is that clear right so as we have seen very clearly right here right since we have k here at the end and so we have zero is equal to some number which is not possible so the system is inconsistent okay so let me push this a bit here so it is inconsistent so two planes will intersect in a line but third one will intersect in a different line you get the idea right so it look like a triangular prism so i hope the concept is absolutely clear feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best